You are the jump master, my friends. You are Superman. You are Iron Man. You are the light assault. <laughs> class overview with some of the cool things you can do with the default jump jet, the skimmersha jet. This is my favorite class since release because I like to be free. I like to move around, fly wherever I want. Blindside 2 is so big, there are so many places you can explore as a light assault. Some places you'll never see as another class. And since this class has the most mobility, it makes it the most C4 friendly class compared to all the others. And I keep getting some amazing moments blowing up all kinds of stuff from infantry to aircraft and tanks. So for now you have a choice between four jet packs, skirmisher jets, drifter jets, ambusher jets and Icarus jets. Today we'll focus on the skirmisher jets, the default ones, because those are the most versatile and that will enable you to deal with most of the situations. So now it has become the class I used by default, because I know I can go against anything, infantry vehicles and air. And the jetpacks usually get me to my objective faster. It's a perfect class for a reconnaissance, if you don't know what you're going against. I also often play this class in squad play sessions, because it allows me to place amazing beacons sometimes. With the squad you can have an extra spawn as the beacon, and if it's well placed, it can create some amazing moments for your squad, positioning yourself on the high ground in the middle of the action. Also, one of my favorite things to do in this game is slingshotting with the jump pads and the jetpack. In some situations you can go even faster than aircraft. <laughs> it's also a great way to explore the map and attack at your enemy from unexpected angles. This is the whole point of this class. You don't have much armor, you don't have much firepower, but you have your mobility. And this can get you to do some surgical strikes on the enemy. So my standard loadout with the default jump jets, the skirmishers, is a carbine as a primary, like the mercenary or the razor carbine. 2 times scope, flash suppressor, Laser sight if it's a close range carbine, four rip if it's a long range carbine. Then for the pistol, I like to have a one time scope on them with the laser sight. Two bricks of C4 and the rocket rifle with default rockets. So it's a very simple loadout. The only costly item here is the C4. The first brick is at 200 thirst and the second brick is at 500. For the suit slot, I alternate between nano weave armor and grenade bandolier. Like with the C4, you can get into situations where multiple grenades can do massive damage. So I like to have extra frag grenades, sometimes flash grenade when I want to breach a point. 
but having grenade bandolier quickly depletes your resources. So when I'm low, I change the suit slot back to nano weave. After that, the most useful implants with this loadout is regeneration to get your health back between engagements. Sensor shield to not get picked off by the radar while you're flanking. Survivalist for the reduction in cooldown for the shield recharge. And then assimilate if you are good at landing headshots. Some people also use safe fall implant, but you can always use your jetpacks to mitigate fall damage. So I usually prefer implants with more direct benefits. So with this class, you're the master of the high ground. In any situation, you should try to take advantage of your jetpacks and get into positions where you are hard or impossible to hit for the enemy, exposing yourself just the necessary amount to take your shot, and load the magazine quickly, throw a grenade, and then disappear. Oh my god! Wow, we just lost the SU at the uh, Mani. Always be at cover when you cannot engage your enemy. Your jetpacks allow you to escape situations and go where the enemy cannot chase you, so you should take advantage of this to the maximum. This loadout also allow you to get into sneaky situations, get in a position hidden from the enemies, and then attack them by surprise when they think the situation is safe. <laughs> there is a huge amount of movements that you can do with the jumpers and lifters. If you turn your mouse and press the jetpack, it's gonna curve your jump and allow you to reach almost any location around the jump pad. Also, jetpacking around will give you the opportunity to flank big groups of enemies. This is where you can take advantage of your C4 and grenades, try to approach them from above, unnoticed, and then deliver your pizza where it will do the most damage. Usually, Max's medics and engineers are clumping up together to repair each other and heal each other. And if they haven't seen you, you can take advantage of this to take them all out at once. The Light Assault 2.0 update, you can now shoot your gun accurately while in the air, but it only works with the carbines. So while flying, you can engage your enemy, but you cannot go ADS. So just keep firing, and this can give you a way to defend yourself while you're in the air. So don't hesitate to shoot your enemies, even while flying. Some carbines have a very tight hip fire cone, and this can enable you to engage your enemies while they're moving at high speed, which makes the class extremely fun for me. I think it's one of the most iconic class of Blindside 2. It's the one featured in the epic game trailer and the flying mechanics are unlike any other games and even after 7 years playing this game I'm still learning this class. For now I only master the skirmisher jets and ambusher jets. I still very rarely use the drifter jets and almost never the Icarus jump jets. I like that you can almost completely ignore stairs with this class and move around almost anywhere you want over crates and boxes. I usually combine this ability to quickly traverse terrain with minimap intelligence. Here I notice that the enemies are clumping up at the stairs and I get an opportunity to get right above them from the balcony. So this is a very opportunistic playstyle, trying to take the most advantage of the situation you are given. Here you can see an example of how you can get back to cover very easily as a light assault. While engaging your enemies, you can be just close to the edge and anytime you're in danger, you can just uh, let yourself fall with your jetpack and then come back when it's safe. It's like a constant game of peekaboo, except that you can peek from almost anything with this class. This is also why I think this is one of the best classes for new players to learn the game, because it allows them to reach any part of the map.
You're a triple threat pilot. It's also one of the best class to engage in open field battles because you can take advantage of the big pieces of terrain that you cannot climb. Same when attacking arm stations. Here I very quickly make it to a position where I'm above my enemies without them noticing that I'm approaching. Now with the ASP system you can also equip an SMG in the secondary which I do sometimes when I use my long range carbine. For example the Razor carbine. I like to combine it with the Cyclone SMG. So I have a long range carbine and a short range SMG with more ammo overall than if I just had the pistol in the secondary. So if you like this class I think you should strive to get the ASP system. After battle rank 100 you can invest 10,000 certs to unlock it or get a membership. I grinded the certs on Miller so I have the SP on my NC but on my TR on Emerald I'm still grinding the certs since I cannot get a membership. With PayPal or even the Steam wallet I I've tried everything. So I'm now grinding my ASP system on Emerald for my TR. I love this class because it also has a very strong mental side to its gameplay. You have to outsmart your enemies. You cannot just charge them up front. You have to attack them from a location they don't expect. This is where you take the most advantage of this class. Some people also like to use this class with the medkit instead of the C4. And this can help you a few times. But I really believe that the regeneration implant or even owning a biolab on your continent is enough to get your health back and it's much more worth it to have C4 because this class has so much freedom in movement it would be really sad to miss some occasions to get these multi kills blowing up stuff Max down battle from an elevated position gives you some amazing landscapes. With the game on Ultra you can appreciate the scale of this game. It sometimes becomes a spectacle, epic to witness. So this was an overview of the Light Assault class with the Skirmisher Jump Jets. Let me know if I forgot an important point that you think people should know to play this class. It is extremely fun to play when there is jump pads around. And drifting around is a unique feeling in Planeside 2 that gives you a sense of the scale of the game while giving you some epic cinematic moments. That's it, pilots. Have a good day, stay epic, bye bye, guys.
crit in a TR soldier. Never know what hit him. A four man crew for me? Fucking insult. Double killer, pilot. Double the kill. 